Uh, welcome to competition day. Uh, so the crews are getting ready from New Zealand, Canada and Australia. And what we're going to look at today is dropping up in Doom DZ up in Waiuru, where they're going to drop a light equipment bundle. And then the crews are going to flow through uh, down to Raumai, where they'll drop a thousand pound CDS bundle. Now as part of the competition, the crews are going to be judged on their ability to be able to get over the target on time and on the time that it takes to actually get the bundle on the ground. And then they're going to be also be judged on how accurately they can drop the light equipment bundle and the CDS bundle to the centre of the drop zone. Now the ground team have been working pretty hard to prepare the aircraft uh, and also load the aircraft, which they're doing right now, and I think that it's going to be a good day for competition. So all the best to the rest of the crews. Hey, my name's Ethan, out in the drop zone uh, here in Raumai today, we just had the Australians drop, not a bad effort for the first drop of the day, 8 metres, uh, coming in next at 12 o'clock we have the Canadians. Oh. Today Ethan again back on the Raumai drop zone, just had the Canadians drop, right on the letter, great score from them, 0 metres, bullseye. Hey guys, Ethan here out on the Railmite DZ. The Aussie C27 Spartan crew has just dropped first CDS of the bullseye. Next up, we've got the New Zealand crew. Hopefully, they can pull off an upset win. Uh, the Canadians and Aussies have been dropping well. Great start to the day. Hi again guys, Ethan out of the drop zone. Uh, the Kiwis have just finished their drop of the day. Uh, the best time on target so far in the tournament, not quite the accuracy, but let's wait for the uh, Wairu drop to come in and the Kiwis can still walk away with the trophy. Hey guys, Ethan here out in the Ramai drop zone. The Canadians have just dropped their second CDS for the day. Not quite the result they're after, landing about 95 metres off the drop zone. Luckily the uh, first Canadian crew came with a bullseye to save some Canadian pride. One more drop to go today, the second Australian C-130 crew, see how they go. Not their best result, but still not a bad effort. Big thanks for our international partners coming down for the exercise. Now it's back to the office to collect the scores and we'll find out who the winner is. So first place got 55 points, so they completely cleaned up whoever that was. The next second, third and fourth were uh, between 32, 35 and 38 points. So it comes down to the Spartan and the Kiwis. But unfortunately, well, lucky for us, the Kiwis took it out, so well done. Tim. Yeah. Yeah.